Hello and welcome to this week's vlog from Madison's. Well, it's the Labour Party conference this week and uh, the Shadow Housing Minister, John Healy, announced uh, this week how he would like to scrap what's called a Section 21 eviction. The Section 21 eviction was introduced uh, to attract private investors to the rental market as part of the Housing Act in 1988. And it uh, basically it means that a landlord can evict a tenant through no fault. They don't have to cite anything particularly that's gone wrong. Um, Labour want to get rid of this. They feel it's really unfair on tenants who often haven't done anything wrong but do get asked to evict it. Um, interestingly, David Smith, who is the policy director of ARLA, the resident of letting agents, um, he feels that actually the Section 21 is a good thing. Um, most landlords have a really good relationship with their tenants, but the Section 21 notice means that you can simply get a tenant to leave if things aren't quite working as quickly as possible. And he really fears that scrapping that could really constrict the uh, letting market still more. So uh, watch this space for what happens in that particular area. Well, I've put a new blog on my website this week. It's all about the online agents. I think people think as a high street agent that I hate the online agents, and I don't quite simply. I think as a consumer, you deserve the right to choice. Uh, if you want to go for a cheaper model, that means that you are more involved in your property sale and whereby someone is paid to list your property, then absolutely the online agents are probably the one for you. I think it's all about a high street agent demonstrating value. Um, if an agent cannot demonstrate where they can bring real expertise and professionalism to what is a highly emotional and very high value transaction, then they absolutely don't deserve the right to charge more of a fee. Um, obviously, as a high street agent, we are paying paid when we sell the property. So our objective and motivation is very, very different. But more of that on the website on my blog this week. Well, uh, Linda Barker has put her beautiful property in York up for sale. So if you want to see a nice celebrity's property who is an interior designer, you might want to have a look at this one. Uh, it's based just outside York in a lovely village called Ellerton. It's on for uh, £465,000. It has four beds, beautiful rural views, a lovely open plan kitchen. But what I was quite surprised about was how... It's very nice, but it's actually quite ordinary. Uh, I was expecting something really quite wild, um, but it's very beautiful and probably where all of us wouldn't mind living. Well, closer to home, two new beautiful properties that we've got to market. Uh, they're both really fine examples of a Victorian style property. So one's on Western Road. Western Road is just off Camden Road here in the centre of the town. And that one is on a guide price of £495,000. It has four really good sized bedrooms, um, a lovely little courtyard garden and is really, really pretty. So that one's well worth a look. And also we've got a lovely little two bedroomed uh, end uh, semi-detached property in Groombridge on Causley Road. That's on at a guide price of £265,000 and has got a really great cellar conversion. So that might be interesting for you if you just need one more reception space uh, or an extra bedroom possibility there. So either of interest, do give us a call. We really hope you've enjoyed the vlog this week and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.